of the graph that is b is equal to sigma is to n of a where n belongs to z and b related to c are of the graph that is c is equal to b raised to so sigma is to n m of b where n belongs to z now in the condition a related to b a related to b or b is equal to sigma is to n of a where n belongs to z b related to c implies c is equal to sigma is to m of b but n i am going to m by b of m of b where n belongs to z which implies c is equal to what we did before sigma is to m of b is equal to so let me ask b ke bare mein e van substitute kiya so which is equal to sigma is to m of b equal to the down sigma is to n of sigma is to n of a which is equal to sigma is to m plus n of a so we get c is equal to sigma is to m plus n of a where m comma n belongs to z that implies m plus n belongs to z so m plus n is the z in another element so c can be written as the form of sigma is to an integer of a which implies a is related to c so in condition of a a related to b b related to c implies a related to c in other words a transitive so we have a relation defined to do a related to b implies b is equal to sigma is to n of a where n belongs to z So, e relation or reflexive one, symmetric one, transitive one. Another relation is called the parameter equivalence relation. So, this relation is an equivalence relation. So, equivalence relation are there. We will learn about it. One relation, one relation, equivalence relation are there. And that is set in an equivalent class of like dividing. So, a and the set in a for a. Equivalent class of graph. We divide the number two. Okay. Angle n. Equivalent class of graph number orbit of permutation. Okay. So a related to b implies b is equal to sigma is to n of a, where n belongs to z. Another. It is an equivalent relation. So equivalent relation. Angle. Angle n. Angle a and the set in a. Equivalent relation. For a equivalent class of graph. We divide the number. Angle n. Equivalent class of graph. Thank you.